Hello my lovely Libra, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name's Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. Let's see what's in store for you this week. So Angel Spirit guys, what's the message for Libra? Okay, so these this is the Rebel deck, so these do have some swear words in, so I try and keep it as clean as possible, but just to give you a heads up. So stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just effing stop. And on the back of this card, you've got to spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So if there's somebody in your life that has kind of ghosted you, there's somebody that has um, annoyed you, <laughs> uh, wound you up, you can't understand it. I feel that you're texting and you're... You're checking up on this person because you haven't got the answers that you were looking for. Something happened and you don't quite understand why. And it's saying that it's like while you're stalking them, while you're texting them, while you're putting all that energy in, you're wasting your energy. You're wasting your time of your life, of your what you need to do to um, to spend it on someone who's worth it. And you know what? The energy I'm getting, the person that's worth it is you. You are worth more than this situation. You are worth more than keep checking up on someone, texting them. It could be in love. Um, there is strong possibility it's in love, but it could also be, um, it could also be just a, a random situation, like with a friend or a family member or something like that. And you just don't understand what happened, how it happened, or the reasons why somebody would do something like that. So you're constantly checking up on this person, you're stalking them, you're texting them, you're trying to call them, and it's for you to get the closure, it's for you to get the answers that you're not receiving from someone. And sometimes we just have to accept that, you know what, we might not get the answers, we just might not get them. And rather than keep wasting your energy on this person, on this situation, actually put your energy into someone that's far more important and that person is you. So change your life, change something about yourself. This is a lesson. This is a lesson that you need to change something within, 222 on the, on the camera. You need to change something within to be able to move like because there's a lesson that's been learned here so there's something you need to change but let's get into the card so what is it that libra needs to change what is it that libra needs to change the knight of wands you need to move forward you need to that you, you're stuck you're stagnant you need to move forward by the pentacles and the empress yeah, so the Knight of Wands here is showing that you need to move forward, Libra. You can't stay in this stagnation place you are at now. You need to move forward. You need to take action. And it isn't action about taking action towards this person. It's about taking action and uh, responsibility of your life. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? If this situation, if this person or whatever it is for you is making you feel this way, is it worth it? Is there more? Is there something else you want? It's that that you need to take action towards, not taking action over somebody or something that is actually making you feel bad about yourself, causing you anxiety or stress or anything like that. That's not what you take action on. You take action on the things that you actually want out of life. And that means spending your time on something, on someone that's worth it. You've also got the five of pentacles. So this shows that you've lost something. You've lost a sense of yourself. You've lost a sense of who you who you really are maybe you had everything lined up life was going great you had all these plans and then all of a sudden this person this situation has ended something and everything's kind of gone out of the window and you feel isolated and lost and not sure which way that you want to go five of pentacles could also mean that you've lost something financially so you could have lost a job or a business deal or something like that this is a lesson that you need to learn so what you've lost it's okay because there's something better coming, but you need to take action towards it, okay? You need to take action towards it. You've lost something in your life because it wasn't meant for you, okay? The universe has removed something from your life because there needs to be space for something else. The last card you had here was the Empress card. This is about you creating the life you want, 444. You creating the life that you want. 
Okay, and this is what you need to take action on. This is what you've lost. So now you have to learn the lessons and go for the things that you gain. You are in control of your life. You have the power of your life. No one else has it unless you give it to them. And by focusing on somebody else, on something else, you're giving that situation your power. Claim your power back and go for the things that you really want. Whew, this is a powerful one. Okay, the last card on the bottom of the deck is the five of wands. So there is conflict here. There's conflict with a person. There's conflict with a workplace. And there's also conflict within your own mindset. You're like, I really want to get out of this, but I just can't. Yes, you can. You can. You can get out of it as much as you want to get out of it. Okay? You just need to change your focus. So rather than go, but I'm really hurt and I'm really upset and I'm playing victim mode. Stop playing victim mode. Go, do you know what? Whatever happened, happened. There's nothing I can do about it. And I can stop and I can stress and I can stalk you and waste my time, energy and my life on you who hurt me. Or I can actually start focusing on what I want for the future. Because sometimes the best revenge is success. The best revenge is your happiness. And they're not going to give you that. You've got to go and get that yourself. So if you want revenge on this person, become successful in what you want to do, become happy in yourself and love yourself perfectly, and then they'll see who they really missed out on, whether that's work or love or anything. It's about you. You have the power to create your own life. Stop having conflict with your own inner thoughts. So let's clarify these cards for you. you can clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Five of Swords again. Okay, well, not five of swords again, sorry, five of wands, five of swords, five of pentacles. There has been a lot of conflict here. This isn't, this wasn't just a, a petty argument. This was something pretty big. Can we clarify the five of pentacles, please? Ace of cups, let's turn around for you. <gasps> Empress and Empress. Look at that, Empress and Empress. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands, you've got the Five of Swords. So it's time to, I know it sounds horrible, and I know that it's like, I don't want to. It's time to admit defeat. It's time to say, this isn't serving me no more, and I need to walk away from it. And yes, you may feel like you've beat me, and yes, you may feel like you've won, and that's absolutely fine. I'm okay with that. Because my half, my time, my energy, my worth is so much more important than keep fighting you. So yes, okay, you may have to win this battle, that's absolutely fine, but I'm going to win the war because I'm going to look after myself and I'm going to start taking the action that is necessary for me to take so that I can walk towards something and work towards something that is much more in alignment with who I want to be. So yes, I'm going to have to admit defeat. Yes, I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to lose space, whatever it is that you, you feel, but they may feel that you they beat you, but really you're the one that's in the driver's seat because you're driving your life. Stop being in the passenger side and start getting in the driver's side because it's your life. Okay, with the five of pentacles, you have the um, ace of cups here. So this is showing that, yes, you have lost something. Yes, you've lost something financially. You may have lost a home. You've lost a relationship. You've lost a job. Um, you, you've lost a sense of yourself. The Ace of Cups is saying, don't worry. Like I said before, before I even pulled the Ace of Cups out, sometimes you have to lose something to make room for something new. The Ace of Cups is saying there's a new beginning coming. It's going to be something that's full of love and happiness and joy. It could be a new relationship that is much more for you than the person that, you, that has just hurt you. It could be the fact that you are going to find your purpose in life. You're going to find a career that you love. You're going to find a job that you love to have. You're going to find a better house that is going to make you so happy and so fulfilled and so joyous. So yes, you may be in that sense of loss right now, but you're not going to be in that sense of loss for long because something new and something amazing is coming into your life here. Now, this is very, very exciting for you. Um, so we have... The Empress. And then the other card that came out was the Empress. So you've got two Empress cards here. This is showing how powerful you are. How powerful you are, Libra. And this is showing that you have the power to create your own life. You may have given your power to somebody else. And by spending time on it, spending time stalking, texting or whatever it is, you're still giving that power over to that person. This is guiding you like this isn't who you are and you know it. This is guiding you to take the power back that you that you give away 
to someone that you trusted. Now it's time to claim that power back. And if they're not willing to give that power back, do you know what? That's fine. I'll just grow some more. I'm just going to get some more power because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a powerful person and I can do whatever I want to do. This is you creating the life that you want. Now, there is an element of pregnancy here with the Empress. That is for a very small amount of you, but I do feel 1010. So I've got 222, 444, and 1010 on the clock so far. This is showing you are strongly being guided that this is more about you claiming back your power and starting to create the life that you want to have. Now, with the five of wands here showing there's conflict, you've also got the six of pentacles that came out on the bottom of this deck. Six of pentacles is time for you to receive what you were owed. You gave a lot of yourself to this situation and you never received anything back. By creating the life that you want to lead, by giving that over to somebody or something that is much more valuable to you, much more in alignment with you, you're going to receive back all the work that you put in okay you're going to receive it so let's pull um, a moonology card for you okay we've got two moonology cards here so let's see what else what's the final messages for oh that fell out Oh, Aries energy here. So you've got the fiery climax approaches, the uh, full moon in Aries, okay? So the full moon in Aries, um, a fiery climax approaches. This situation, this is where you walk away. There's going to be a big fiery climax and you're just going to go, I'm done. And you just walk away from it because you know how important your own energy is. So this fiery climax that will happen will help you walk away from the situation and start building a life that you want. On the bottom of the deck, you have got a time for healing. So when you walk away from this, don't rush into anything else. Take time out, heal, get to know you again. Get to know what it is that you want in your life and how you want to be. And things will start progressing for you um, much quicker. So don't rush. That's the energy I'm getting. Don't rush. When you've walked away from something, don't rush into something else. Okay, let's get a final message with the Minology Manifestation deck for you my lovely Libras. If you like today's reading, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel and I appreciate it so much. And it also helps me know what videos you prefer um, and what ones are not working so I can give you the right content. I can give you what you're looking for. If you'd like a personal reading with me, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot. There's a link in the description box below. And if you're on TikTok, do go and follow me over on TikTok as well. Uh, there's a link for that below too. Um, and I'm also on Instagram. I'll list it all down there. Okay. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what's the final message for Libra, please? What's the final message for Libra? One more. Okay. Full moon in Libra, your energy, find balance. This is what you're guided to do, Libra, is to find a balance in your life. Find what works for you. Find where you feel the peace, where you feel your purpose, where you feel that you are um, received well. Don't hang around doing something where you are not feeling valued, where you're not feeling appreciated. So find that balance first within yourself and then go and find balance with another person, another job, whatever it is. But it's about finding the balance that works for you. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. Look how far you've come. We all go through turbulent times. We all go through ups and downs in life. And the fact that you've got through it, even through the toughest of, time, toughest of points in your life, be proud. Just be proud because you're amazing. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Libra. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonates, drop it in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.